What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I am here today at a local collector friend's house, and he just got the T1000 and the T800. I helped him unbox both of them, and so I wanted to share you guys my opinions and thoughts on this, seeing them together. Obviously, you guys know I own the T800, but I have not seen the T1000 in person until now. So it is uh, such an honor to be able to see these two together in person like this. And it really just puts me in awe to see them both like this. So we've already done a review on Arnold you guys can check out. So really, I just want to look at the T1000. But here is just a great size comparison of the two. They're about the same height. Uh, just the T1000 is a little wider because of this extra arm doing this pose, which he was classic for in the movie. And this arm is silicone, so look at this finger, look at that. So it just shakes like that, it's all silicone and then polystone arm. His base is very similar to the T800, uh, pretty much the exact same, except for it has these three bullet holes, which are absolutely awesome. I really like how they incorporated that. You can see how he just got shot with a pistol, some shotguns and three, three spots here on the base. And then on him himself, right here. And this one's sort of the base transitioning into the T-1000. And so this, it's not chromed, it's just a silver, but it does look awesome the way they did it. it. Makes it look just like the movie. And this is a like hard poly stone, but it looks fantastic. I really like how they incorporated that into the bust. And then he is mixed media. So this is all fabric, got some nameplate, some buttons. This police officer tag, Los Angeles. I do like the inclusion of the arm. It does add quite a bit and tells a story on this. So it's very, very cool, especially since he used that pose in the movie, very famous. Of course, the biggest thing you're gonna look at is this portrait. Check that out. Now, I don't think the likeness is as good as the Arnold, but it is extremely good. Check that out. So glass eyes, silicone face. You see a mole here on his chin and right there on his cheek. Extremely well done, even little vein work. The hair is hand punched. It looks fantastic, just like the movie. So just another knock out of the park by Queen Studios. Very, very impressive. Yeah, the ears look great. It did have, of course, lots of little hairs that we had to clean off. Uh, check out those glass eyes. Very, very impressive. Very cool. So I definitely absolutely want to buy this bust. I think it would go fantastic in my collection. So hopefully someday I'll be able to convince my friend to sell it to me. Until then, at least I got to enjoy it now. And of course it looks absolutely amazing next to Arnold. I am a huge fan of bust pairs. I feel like in general statues come best in pairs. And so these two complement each other so perfectly. So quick rundown of Arnold, which you guys can see my full video review, but just such a grail. I still think Arnold is superior versus the T-1000, but the T-1000 is an absolutely 10 out of 10 grail. The likeness could be slightly improved, but it's definitely 90% plus. So just check that out. Absolutely amazing. So just a quick video, let me know your thoughts and comments below, like, comment, subscribe, have a great day.